In the turbulent and challenging landscape of the Vietnam War, where American aircraft losses were mounting, a remarkable hero emerged from an unexpected place. Meet the A-37 Super Tweet, an aircraft that played a pivotal role in one of the most intense conflicts of the 20th century. It was a time when the U.S. Air Force found itself in dire need of a counterinsurgency aircraft to bridge the gap between support and offensive missions, working hand-in-hand -hand with ground forces. While names like Bell, Lockheed, Northrop, McDonnell, and Boeing were synonymous with wartime aviation, an unlikely candidate stepped into the fray, the Cessna Aircraft Company. Today, we uncover the fascinating story of the A-37 Dragonfly, fondly nicknamed the Super Tweet for its distinctive sound. But before we start, I'm sure you are all enthusiasts, experts, proper know-it-alls and all that. But please do like and subscribe to the channel. We really would appreciate it. The birth of the underdogs. The story of the Super Tweet begins with the advent of light attack aircraft during the Korean War, a time when the U.S. Air Force was experimenting with innovative aviation concepts. These aircraft were conceived to perform armed reconnaissance, air support, and escort for ground troops, not to rival the firepower or speed of traditional jet fighters. Instead, they bridged the gap between helicopters and warplanes, offering a unique blend of speed and power. As communism's shadow loomed over Southeast Asia, the need for such aircraft became increasingly evident. The U.S. Air Force began experimenting with modified versions of existing planes. A trainer's unexpected transformation. During this period, the Cessna Aircraft Company entered the scene. Having a long history in civilian aviation, they had dabbled in military aircraft, particularly during World War II with the T-50. However, after the war, their focus shifted back to commercial airplanes. But when the U.S. Air Force sought a trainer to prepare novice pilots for American-produced jet aircraft, Cessna answered the call with the T-37. This aircraft, known affectionately as the Tweety Bird for its U.S. The Super Tweets, often met with skepticism from pilots who compared them to more imposing aircraft, rapidly proved their mettle in combat. They provided close air support over South Vietnam in 1967, showcasing their pinpoint accuracy. Ground troops began to trust in the Super Tweet as their lifeline, knowing that when it roared overhead, they were safe. These light attack aircraft executed their bombing runs with precision, dropping their payload when Viet Cong troops drew near then circling back to unleash napalm. Pilots describe their unique flying experiences, including their close encounters with the ground during low-level missions, discovering grass and tree limbs beneath the aircraft during maintenance. But the Super Tweet's small size made it a challenging target for the enemy, who struggled to hit them. Their pole vaulting climb-out rate further confounded enemy shooters, making them a formidable presence in the sky. Heroes of the Skies 
The A-37's legacy extended beyond the Vietnam War. In 1975, North Vietnamese forces seized almost 200 super tweets, sharing them with allies, including the Soviet Union. While about 92 super tweets returned to American hands, the rest saw action in Cambodia and the China conflict in 1979. After the war, the surviving aircraft found new homes in the U.S. Air National Guard and in countries with underdeveloped military technology. El Salvador, Guatemala, Peru, Honduras, and Colombia all utilized the A-37B in their counter-narcotic operations. Today, many of these remarkable super tweets can be admired in national museums across Hispanic countries. One, a testament to their enduring impact, finds a place of honor at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Ohio. And so, the legacy of the A-37 super tweet, the underdog turned hero, lives on in the annals of aviation history. It's a reminder that sometimes, simplicity can be the key to success, even in the most challenging circumstances. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the fascinating story of the super tweet. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating stories from the past. Until next time.